currently so I went to a few stores to find some stuff so I can finally decorate um, so today I'm going to show you guys what I got from Dollar Tree 99 cent store and Target so if you're interested in this video please keep watching so before I get started into the haul I wanted to show you guys some crafts me and my sister made last week um, the first thing we did was we went to Joann's and we actually ended up making these really pretty wreaths. I have a double door, so I actually ended up making two. But all I did was we bought this wired wreath or this wooden wreath and then bought some filler and just cut them up and hot glue glue gun them. So I thought that that was really cute. It was very like simple and really, really pretty. Um, so I'm gonna hang these up. Everyone, take her to the camera. This is Charlie, he's my Australian Shepherd. He's very needy, very emotional. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm really happy with how it turned out and it was honestly really inexpensive. I think for the both of these, with leftover filler, it probably cost me around 20 to $25. did was I actually made this sign well I decorated this my sister does calligraphy on the side so she drew hello fall on here and she had some crafts so all I did was I just hot glue gun these felt leaves on top and then on the bottom and then I bought a pack of pine cones from Joann's the same time we were making the wreaths and they have these cute little pumpkins as well so I just hot glue gunned a few up top and up bottom and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this yet but I think I might put it outside so that's kind of the crafts that we made and that was a lot of fun and that's what kind of inspired me to go and get some decor and just kind of decorate the house to get in the fall spirit so first I'm gonna show you guys uh, what I got from the 99 cents store hey you want to be in the camera oh don't eat the sign you're gonna become YouTube famous. Okay, so I love the 99 cent store. Um, I always go there, I find the coolest things. In June, I had a flamingo themed birthday party and I literally bought all of the decor from there and it was so much fun. Really inexpensive and cute things. When I went, they only had the end caps filled with um, like fall decor, so I'm not sure if they were just starting to put it out or maybe they're waiting until Halloween's over, but I found a few things that I'm really excited about. And again, everything I found was just a dollar. Um, so the first thing I got was this pumpkin. It says, be blessed, be thankful. And I thought that was really pretty. It's like this brushed white with this like bronzy gold. So I thought that was really cute. And I'm just gonna, I don't know where, I'm gonna probably put this in my kitchen somewhere, but I wish that they had more. This was really the only one that I could find that was more my style, but like that. The next guy I found was just this cute little orange pumpkin with like just glitter on top. I'm like trying to get more orangey things just because I've never decorated before and I want it to be very fall-like. I think I might reuse this next year and maybe paint it a different color. Next I found were these big pumpkins. I thought these were great, especially for the price. Um, so this one's like this dark purpley orange olive tone, not olive, like dark purple. And then this one's just the basic orange. And then it, they're covered with little tiny beads. Um, so those are really cute and they kind of go with the 
with the theme I'm going for, so I thought these were great. These are really the only ones I could find, the only colors. Um, I might go back and see what else they might have. Next I found was just this little tiny guy. I mean, it's not like the best quality. It's just like a little pumpkin arrangement. I thought I could stick this somewhere, maybe by my mantle or my entryway or even put it outside, but I just thought it was cute, the fall colors. Um, for a dollar, why not? It was this four pack of little mini pumpkins. Um, they have strings on them, so I don't know if you're supposed to like hang them off of something, but it's the same as this pumpkin, the same kind of uh, beads on top and the same colors, but they have a little leaf glued onto them. I thought I could just stick these um, different places just to add the pumpkin theme all around, and that was four for a dollar. Okay, up next is my favorite fall find, I think out of everything I've gotten. And I was just really surprised with the quality, but at the 99 cent store, they have these beautiful gold leaves. I thought that that was so pretty. Like look how cute and the quality is amazing, amazing. So I got, this is like the lighter gold one. And then there's like the dark, dark orange. I thought these were so awesome. In a vase with some other filler maybe. But how cute is that? I thought that that was really pretty. Um, and then the quality for the price I think is, is a steal. So I'm really excited about these. And then the last thing I got from the 99 cent store was just this cute little scarecrow welcome sign. Thought I could put it outside next to some of my plants and just hang it up just so he could hang out there. Thought that was very festive and cute, just for a dollar. So that was everything from 99 cent store. And then next I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Dollar Tree. I have been waiting to go to Dollar Tree to find some fall stuff for quite some time now. I finally went and unfortunately um, my store was kind of wiped out. There was a lot of Halloween decor, but not so much um, fall stuff. But I did find some cute stuff, so I thought I'd show you guys. Um, so the first thing I found was this little pumpkin. He, it's covered with like a burlap yarn. I thought that was cute. And I also found this 50 count of felt and just regular um, fall leaves, maple leaves. I thought that that would be a good um, project. So I was thinking of maybe making another sign or an arrangement or something. So I can definitely use this for something. Next I found was just this kitchen towel from the Dollar Tree. I don't really have, again, anything that's fall related. So I thought just to put that up in my kitchen would be cute. And it's like definitely goes with like the theme that I'm going for, the, the classic fall tones. Not fall related, but um, one of my favorite things to pick up at the Dollar Tree is this lint roller pack. You get a full size and a mini size for a dollar. So you definitely can't beat it and there's definitely a good amount in there. Um, so I like to just leave these kind of everywhere around the house. I have one in my purse, one in my car. So every time I go, I'll grab one or two. That were these salt and pepper shakers. Thought those would be cute to put on my dining table. Just little pumpkins. With this floral moss. This is not fall in the fall section. This is just in their arts and crafts section. So I was gonna make an arrangement for like to put a candle and maybe some leaves around. So I thought I could hot glue gun this around the arrangement. So we'll see what I come up with that. And if you guys are interested in maybe seeing a video like that, please leave a comment and the thumbs up so I know. Let me know if you're interested in this kind of stuff. And then I also got the reindeer moss as well. I thought that was really pretty. Um, so I'm gonna attack and just use it for something. And I just got this salted caramel candle. It smells really good. It's very fall-like. I'm sure this is gonna burn out really quick, but I thought for a dollar I would try it and kind of see see what it smells like, and I really like it. Next I got were these. See, like I got this and I already had some. I didn't think about that, but I got these floral stems. I'm sure this is part of the fall, but they were just in the same section as all the flowers. I thought those were really pretty to um, just stick in a vase or um, do some crafting with. So I got four. I thought that would be really cute. And I think with my existing colors I have on here, I think that would be, that would work out. So I got those. Okay, and then 
I got some scarecrows again. I got this guy. He's just on a stand. So then I got these guys, which are on sticks. Ooh. Right here. I just think they're so cute. Like I never de decorated before and like my mom didn't really ever decorate for fall. So I thought I saw them and I thought they were super festive. So I'm gonna stick these guys in some planters as well. So I think outside I'm gonna have more of a scarecrow theme. Found this really pretty happy fall sign. I thought that was really cute and I really like the gold, um, the brown glitter. They had three three different versions, but I liked the, the red truck with the pumpkin. I thought that was cute. I also got these. These are little pumpkin picks. They're glitter too. I thought I could stick that in some arrangements. I'll definitely find find a place to use them, but I thought those were nice. Next I picked up was just this glass vase. I don't really have any vases. I wanted to find a white one, um, but I couldn't. So I wanted to fill this with some of the filler and maybe some yarn or some jude string around. But I thought maybe something like this with some other stuff would be cute. Just to put somewhere. And then I found just this orange and gold top pumpkin. I thought that was really cute. This was the only one that they had. So here's like a comparison of what the 99 cent store had. It's definitely a lot more heavier. And then this is the Dollar Tree one. So I'm excited. I'm gonna leave them as is this year, but I think next year I might go more farmhouse woodsy themed. So that's gonna be a lot of fun to recreate these. Then I found this four pack of mesh string. Um, so I'm thinking of just wrapping that around some existing plants I have or using it for maybe the vase or I'm gonna find this just to bring in some more fall tones in the house. Okay, and then the last thing I got, which I've been seeing all over YouTube, is this thankful harvest and welcome sign. So it's like a galvanized sign. So I have this guy hanging on my, ooh, it's a little dusty. He's on my entryway and I usually just have this all year round, but I was thinking to get one of the signs, thankful or welcome, and just hot glue gun that in the middle just for the fall season. I thought that would look really pretty. And maybe even if it looked nice, um, wrap one of these strings around just on the bottom and maybe make a pretty bow. I thought I'd pop into Target and see what they had in the dollar spot for fall. Um, I found a few things, everything seemed to be kind of taken or maybe they weren't restocked, but I did find some cute things. So the first thing I found was this white pumpkin succulent planter thing. It was $3. They have a bunch of these. I actually got two more, but I left them in my cubicle at work because I thought they were really cute. This would go definitely more for the farmhouse theme, but I thought having some white around the house would be really pretty. I do have a lot of plants, um, so I thought that was just really cute and unique. And then next, I didn't get much, but I did find these, find these mini suede pumpkins. So I got all sorts of colors. I've been seeing a lot of these on YouTube as well. People are definitely decorating with them. So I got um, this dark blue one. This is more of like an olive tone. This is like a light gray. This is that cute mint color. And then another dark gray one. So I got, and then these were only a dollar. So that was my haul. I went to 99 cent store, Dollar Tree, and Target, Dollar Spot. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Uh, let me know if you like these kind of videos and I'll be posting more hauls next week. And then if you're interested, also comment below if you wanna see a fall house tour because I'm really excited to use all this stuff and just spruce up the house and make it very fall and autumn-y and cozy. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.